Hello everybody, Michael here for Tactic Imperialis. Welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a painting and modelling video. Sort of. Except there's going to be no painting and no modelling, but it fits within that theme so I'm going to be calling it that anyway. So what I'm going to talk about today is discipline. Hobby discipline. Because this is something that's been on my mind very recently with my lack of discipline on a project and I thought it'd be a good topic to talk about because I see it all the time hobbyists with no discipline because it means things don't get done so context why I'm talking about this well um, I'll be bringing an update video out very soon for my next um, for my Tau Army I'll bring that hobby update number five very soon I'm just gonna sit down to recording it in the very near future once I've got one or two more models done um, I might even record it with what I've got done right now but um, in it I will be showcasing a very special model and the initial plan was after I bought that model I finished everything I had left to do so from hobby update number four um, I had built and painted Bravestorm, I had built and painted Torture Star, and I was just about to start Shavastos. I also had a stealth team that I was planning to purchase, and I did purchase. And the plan was, I was going to do Shavastos, stealth team, this special purchase. I won't spoil what it is, you'll have to check out Hobby Update number 5, a towel for that. Um, and that went completely out the bloody window. I got Shavastos done, um, so you'll see him. I started the stealth team, I got one done, so I know what I'm doing with the models, and I was built, I built the second one, I was all ready to start painting for it, and then I picked up this new model. And um, the plan was it stayed in the box, it didn't come out of the box at all, until the stealth team was done. But, fancy new model, special model syndrome got the better of me, and that model is now finished. And my second stealth guy is just sat there in his sub-assemblies not even started. I had a severe lack of hobby discipline. And this is something that probably affects hobbyists everywhere. Having a lack of discipline or simply just getting distracted by other projects. Particularly when you're juggling multiple projects, whether it's um, a 40k army and an AOS army, whether it's a 40k army and a Batman miniatures game that you're um, playing, which is what Ben Johnson's doing. Um, whether it's um, two different factions within an AOS army, for example, for me it might be Darkling Covens and Daughters of Cain. Whether it's um, two separate commissions that you've been tasked to do with a similar deadline. Um, whatever it is, distraction and discipline is an issue and a challenge. So, I should probably explain what um, the problem is and then we can talk about how to tackle it. So the problem is that sometimes we as hobbyists buy our models too quickly. We buy up a bunch of stuff in advance, particularly if we're gamers, and we build it all because we want to play with it. Um, this can happen with start collecting sets, this can happen with just buying multiple boxes of stuff, whatever it is if you're starting a new army, uh, or just expanding on something, it can take a while for you to then catch up on the backlog of all of these units. And if you're a gamer particularly, you'll probably be buying more units to expand the army before you've cleared this backlog, which means that your backlog gets even bigger. It's, um, it's a very difficult thing not to do. Um, we as gamers particularly, we want big armies quickly. We want to get a big army on the table and throw it at our opponents and have some fun. And um, that often comes at the cost of... Um, well, we don't paint our stuff because we get loads of it and then we just want to get it on the table as quickly as possible. Um, so we just build it and go without actually taking the time to paint it. I was extremely guilty of this for a while. Uh, it took me a while to get around to painting a few things. For example, the missiles on my broadside. I literally finished just before I started Shavastos. Um, and it's something that we're extremely guilty of. It's not just gamers, though. Um, sometimes it could be shiny new model syndrome, which is what I suffered from uh, when I bought my special miniature. Um, basically, you are in the middle of a project and then a shiny new model becomes available. Um, let's say maybe you were in the midst of building a Silver Neth army and then a Lariel came out and you're like, oh my god, I want a Lariel now, bye! And you immediately start working on a Lariel. Never mind the 20 odd dryads you've still got left to do, you just start working on a Lariel immediately because shiny new model syndrome. It doesn't have to be a brand new model that comes out, it could just be 
um, a leader unit or a special uh, monster unit. It could be a tank. It could be um, a hero. It could be a flyer. It could be anything. Any shiny model that you just get your hands on in the middle of a project because maybe you're not going to be going into the store for a long time so you won't be able to pick up a collection or have it, you won't have it delivered. Um, maybe it's because, um, I don't know, you got smooth talked by the people in the shop into buying something because that's happened to me. Uh, whether it's because um, you were proxying something and it did really well or you were using something and it did so well you wanted more of it so you just snapped by another one or snapped by that thing. Um, you end up with a project that you really want to do but then you've got this backlog to clear. And as much as you want to clear that backlog so as you don't have anything to do, the shiny new model is just sat there and it's silently whispering in your ear, you know you want to paint me. You know you want to start building this model. You know that you won't be able to finish that backlog because you'll be too focused on me. And that's exactly what happens. You, I tried to sit down and paint the second style chassis, but my special manager was like, no, no, you're not painting that style suit, you are painting me. And I did. And I regret nothing. <laughs> and that's, that's just the thing. And um, I'm not the only one who's guilty of it. Um, Kieran has a bit of a backlog with his armies and we've been working out ways that he, between us we worked out a way for him to get them done. Um, Primarily, it just involves not buying anything, um, and then you can clear your own backlog. Um, it can manifest in other sort of less obscure ways, but shiny model syndrome and um, I want everything immediately so I can play with it are the two main reasons why we end up with this uh, distraction. Um, they're the main reasons, and there are a few ways of tackling it. Um, and a lot of it is just down to personal discipline, will, and temperament, which I, I know is kind of a personal thing. Um, the main challenge is being able to put that box of shiny new thing, in, in the case of shiny new thing, and putting shiny new thing in a drawer where you can't see it. That's the trick. If you can't see it, it isn't there. That's what you can trick your mind into thinking, if I can't see it, it isn't there. And um, if you can get it just in a box, in a drawer, out of the way, then you'll be able to say, okay, this is what I've got to do. This is what I can see in front of me. This is what I'm going to work on. But if that shiny model is sat there, either on the frame or in its assembled phase because you wanted to get it built for the game, it's just going to start calling to you again. So it needs to go away. It needs to go away into a dark corner until the backlog is cleared. The second reason, um, or the second thing, is if you're in the gaming side, is being able to pace yourself with purchasing. Um, the challenge I've had, and it's a challenge I, I, I rose to better at university with an elf and adventure, was don't buy anything until everything you have is done. That's the simplest mantra I can give you if you are rushing to collect an army. If you want to get a good looking, good quality army quickly, the simple challenge is you want to buy this because it did really well when you proxied it or because you need it to finish off um, a unit or because it synergizes really well with what you've got. But you can't buy it. You, you are not allowed to purchase this miniature or this unit because you have a backlog and you must clear it. Until everything is complete, you buy nothing. And that's the challenge. There are other things you can do as well. Um, and this is more where the discipline comes in. It's all well and good saying, okay, here's the backlog, we're going to clear it, this is going in a drawer, this isn't being purchased yet. Lovely, brilliant, good start. But then it's actually being able to tackle that backlog efficiently. And this again requires some discipline. You have to be able to set a timetable for getting the job done. So for example, if you were like me during an elephant adventure and you were providing one hobby update a week, is what I was doing. Uh, I was a week behind when I was recording, so I, the video you saw I recorded a week in advance, so you were, anyway, that doesn't matter. But I had to get a video out every single week for an Elven Adventure, and I knew that, which meant that everything I had that I bought, I had to paint. So I set aside time in my day 
whether it was one hour, two hours, six hours um, with breaks to take on a project. So for example, it may have been, okay, you bought 10 Hageneth executioners. How are you gonna paint them? Well, first off, we need to get a test model. So right now you're gonna build one model and you're gonna paint it. Or you're gonna build you're gonna build all the models and then they're gonna be sat there. And then you're gonna paint the model and you're gonna test the paint scheme and make sure it works. And then if it works and you're happy with it, you settle on your test scheme and you're happy. Then next day, you sleep on it, you make sure you're happy with it, you check it again in the morning, have a sleep, you have a look. Okay, next day I'm gonna set two hours. Um, in between my studies. So I'm going to do some homework and then I'm going to paint for two hours and I'm going to do some more work. And that is going to clear me two models. I'm going to work at one model an hour. Um, I can batch paint or I can paint them a model at a time depending on what my personal style is. And then maybe um, in the evening if I've got an hour free I might take a little bit of time and work on the next model. And I might not finish it, I may or may not, we'll see. And you just set times and goals to make sure that the project is completed on time. This is what you do if you are a gaming type and need to get models ready for the table as quickly as possible. Particularly if you're gaming at GW where they very much like their models to be painted and based. So what you do, is you say I want it ready by this time so I'm going to do it by this, 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 this and this. And if something gets in the way then that's just tough luck. But I'm going to rearrange things to make sure that that project gets done. And then next week I'm going to start on this unit. And then I'm going to spend a few days doing that and get it done because I've got some free time. Done. And I'm going to move on. Done. Move on. Done. Don't start a new unit until you finish the old one. Just be efficient and methodical. That's the way to clear a backlog. If it's shiny model syndrome, I can digress you one thing. If it is a big model, for example, um, a cauldron of blood, or a stomper, or a flyer, whatever it so happens to be, you may permit yourself to work on it in the time between the backlog, as long as you're disciplined and strong-willed about it. So for example, um, maybe you say, I've got three units I need to clear before I can start shiny new thing. So I'm going to finish one unit and then I'm going to build shiny new thing. And I'm going to get it into all the sub assemblies and then I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put it back in its box away. And then I'm going to paint unit number two. And then I'm going to shine a new thing out and I'm going to undercoat it and then it will be ready to be painted and then I'm going to put it away again and then I'm going to paint unit number three and then I'm going to get shiny new thing out again and I'm going to paint it because I don't have a backlog anymore. It could also be that you treat it on a, as a reward. So your reward for completing 10 models is this special model. Um, for example, as a Tau player, I might say for every 10 Fire Warriors I complete, I can paint a squad of battle suits or I can paint a battle suit if you're trying to clear a massive backlog of um, dudes. Or as an Imperial Guard player, you might say, okay, I really enjoy painting tanks. So every time I complete an infantry squad or an infantry platoon, however much of your backlog is, I'm going to paint a Chimera. And then when I finish all of them, I'll paint the Lehman Rust that I want to get done because that's my grand reward for finishing and clearing my backlog. It's all about discipline. You just have to have some focus, some willpower, and some grit to put up with the fact that you're going to just have to work. Shiny new thing goes in a draw. Your bank balance doesn't get touched on hobby projects until you have cleared that backlog. No matter how much you want to buy that critical unit or you want to work on shiny new thing, you don't. You finish the job, you clear your backlog, and then you can go at it without having to think, oh God, I need to do this and I need to do that, I need to do that because this, that, the other. You won't have to because the backlog will not exist because you'll have cleared it before you start. And once you get into that routine, it's very hard to fall out of it again. So once you get into the discipline routine, okay, paint a unit, reward, paint something important and then buy a new unit when I'm done and paint that to completion. Even if I buy three units, I'm gonna completely finish them before I buy something else and I'm gonna be disciplined about it. That's the trick. It's hard to do initially. Getting into the habit can be annoying and that's why I was really glad when I did an Elven Adventure that I had a weekly deadline to meet. I had to have those models painted at that time for you guys. And that was the challenge. So setting yourself a goal, particularly if you've got a reason to get that thing done, not just for your own personal gain, but if you've got a community to talk to, let's say if you're a YouTuber, 
whether it's a gaming thing that you keep going to and you want to show as your army develops and getting it painted. Set yourself a goal and have a reason for having that goal. Let's say, okay, I have six weeks until the next um, Throne of Skulls at Warhammer World and I have eight units I need to get done for my army because I want to start something new. Okay, here we go. And, I, and you set yourself that goal. You say, okay, by the end of week one, I need to be here. By the end of week two, I need to be here. By the end of week three, I need to be here. Set goals, give yourself reasons, and just have some discipline. It sounds awkward, but once you get into it, it's pretty hard to get out of. I'm going to have to get a little bit back into it now that i finished my shiny special new thing. But nothing else will be purchased until my stealth team is done. And then I'm going to get something else. I'm going to finish it. And then I'm going to get something else. And then I'm going to finish it until I have nothing else I want to get. So that's the talk for today's video. I do hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you have any thoughts on um, painting and hobby discipline, do let me know in the comments below. It might um, help people. If I've missed a piece of advice, they can go and read the comments and you'll have some extra tips for them on how to do it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name is Michael for Tactic Imperialis. Until the next time, I'll see you all again. Bye for now.